Everybody, welcome back to Padfoot 2D Games. My name is Zach. I'm the voice behind the icon, and today we are back in American Truck Sim once again with our owner operator series. We're going to be working for Walmart. We're going to be taking some frozen fruit from Tulsa, Oklahoma, down to Amarillo, Texas. Really excited about this journey. Yet again, it's going to be a nice, quick one. It's about a five hour, six hour trip, and the sun is coming down, and this truck looks beautiful today. So let's hop in without any further ado and get her set it up. Yeah, well, it's actually about a six and a half hour journey. I was saying four or five. Whatever. We've got tandems today. Adds its own little challenge to driving them or to parking them or anything else. And it's actually going to add challenge to getting out of here. I mean, that's as far as I can see if nobody's coming. So we are going to kind of wrap as much as we can. Hopefully this truck understands what we're attempting to do here and he gave us a he gave us enough space thank you all right well out of Tulsa we come it's a beautiful afternoon it's a beautiful evening here in Tulsa as the sun goes down it's looking nice just want to get on the highway though getting anxious oh a little farmer's market oh, donut I haven't had breakfast yet I haven't been great I know it's like 6 p.m. It's, it's almost 8 p.m. <laughs> but I want a donut, damn it. Nobody knows when my day stops and ends. Starts and ends. Words are hard. <laughs> All right. But I hope everybody's having a great day. I'm not sure when this episode will come out, but I just hope you're having a great day. Um, if you are in the northern hemisphere, we're getting ready for fall. Southern hemisphere, you're getting ready for summer. I hope just everybody's having a good day you know good day you hope you're enjoying the weather i hope it's whatever weather you want it to be if you want if you like it hot it's hot if you like cold it's cold i hope your wish gets granted but i know just fundamentally that is not possible <laughs> there's always gonna be somebody not happy temperatures are still a little high for me where i want them at this time of the year i like them down in the 60s which when we go to the full throttle weekend i am speeding god damn it Full throttle weekend up in Loudoun, New Hampshire next week. Uh, we will be in actually some pretty cold weather. So I'm really excited about it. It's going to be nice and cold, but at the same time, it's like, okay, well, time to get out the snow pants. <laughs> nah, just dress warm. It'll be fine. Let's get over here. We're not going to head towards Springfield. There's a car coming up on an 18 wheeler fast like that. You guys are dumb. Never come up on an 18 wheeler. Especially the one that's got a blinker on. It's a good way to get squished. No, I'm not going to head there. I'm not going to head north. Heading west. Oh, well, going to be heading west, I should say. Love this interchange, though. It's, it's really pretty. We saw it when we were coming through with the Coca-Cola. That looks really nice. All right, let's get ourselves up to 75. Beautiful thing about Oklahoma and Texas. Their speed limits are ridiculous. So... We'll get up to speed and start heading there. I'm actually gonna not fly through this turn. Let's, let's slow that down. Yeah, even the AI is like, screw that. A little sweeping more of turns would be great though. <laughs> All right, now we'll get up to speed, but we've got a we've got a heavy load behind us. It takes a little while to get up there. Yeah, Amarillo, 44 West. It's funny because it's the route we just took, so it's going to look almost exactly the same. <laughs> it will change off, especially since we um, got off the wrong exit when we first were coming here, because I was an idiot and forgot. But it happens. We all have idiot moments every once in a while. If you say you're perfect, I guarantee you're not. That's <laughs> what makes us human. But yeah, you know... American Truck Sim is the time where I can actually just give a little bit of life updates. Um, I gave a huge rant in iRacing a couple weeks ago, uh, by the time, the time this video comes out, about Danielle and I 
getting brand new furniture. Well, I'm filming this the day after we got the furniture. So it shows you how, how weird the kind of filming of episodes can be. Because I try to get as much done in advance as I can. But we have a new bedroom set that we ordered for like $7,000. has a new bed, new bed headboard, you know, the whole bed set. So the rails, the headboard, the footboard, um, a chest drawer, a bureau with a mirror, two nightstands that are honking, and a media chest. That's uh, like something to put your TV up on. So we got all this and we spent a ridiculous amount of money for it because we wanted to have real wood instead of something that's particle board. Well, we went to pick them up. One weighed 300 pounds. One box weighed 300 pounds. The other one weighed 310 pounds. Those were the chests, those were the drawers. I had no idea when we were in the store, that's how much it was. And we opted not to have them deliver it to us. We we're gonna save 400 bucks. And so we got those items and they're really heavy. So we're like, okay, let's do, let's get the bed frame upstairs because that's the easiest thing to get out of the truck, out of the trailer. We rented a U-Haul and we did so. Let me get my lights on, what the hell am I doing? And so we got the U-Haul, packed it up, you know, brought the stuff upstairs. And then we got the big, huge chest bureau out. And upon taking that out, we then find out that um, one of the rails underneath the drawer is completely cracked and that the top has ripped itself off of the bureau. AKA, it was on one hell of a truck ride to the store for us to pick up. So we're already flustered about that. We called them, they said, we'll have the manager call you. Um, once we get a hold of them, you know, we'll, we'll get this set up. And I was like, okay. Well, we opened up the bureau to bring that upstairs that had come in contact with at least a metal pole. That's how much of a crack there was in it. And so now we're at two pieces of broken furniture. I'm actually going to take a screenshot. I'll be right back with you and we'll continue this story. All right, we're back. So yeah, so now we're two for two. And so I called them and I was really enraged at this point. And you know, it's like, you know, I spent so much money and it's not your guys' fault. But the manufacturer is obviously not doing something right or not having the right shippers. So I had the owner of the actual store call me and they said, I, I can't believe that this happened. The boxes should have been opened and checked before you had received your goods. This is completely on our end. We will get you the pieces that you need. So we're going to get a brand new bureau and a brand new box chest, you know, you know, for that's not broken, you know, and they will actually come and bring them upstairs for us, which is a relief to us because of how much they weigh. Um, it's just really frustrating that um, we had to go through that, you know what I mean, beforehand. And then top that all off, when we opened up the media chest, there's a cracked leg in that as well. And then on the bed frame, there's a couple things broken too. So they're pretty much sending us a whole new set, almost pretty much a whole new set. Um, and I don't blame the company. The company's been great um, that we have been working through the, the furniture store. They have been fantastic. They've been supportive. They've been trying to figure out what, what can we do. We'll bring them upstairs for you. We'll do everything for you at this point. And so they've been really great and really accommodating. Um, but it does make me, I'm not going to release their name because uh, I'm not one for bashing products. Um, unless, you know, they deserve it. They kind of deserve it. But, um, it's just this company is supposed to be so high grade and this is the this is what we get and really kind of shoddy craftsmanship as well um just for the amount of money that you pay you're just kind of like seriously <laughs> we bought one of the most expensive sets in the store and this is what we get i don't know it happens but i'm just saying when you go and, and buy furniture make sure you over check the whole entire thing before you leave the store and if that store doesn't give you that kind of guarantee to ensure that you can check it before it leaves, or they don't have a follow-up policy, I would find another store to work with. Unless you're only spending like a hundred bucks. Spending like two, three hundred dollars total, it might not be worth the time for you. But when it costs the amount of a small car, <laughs> it means a lot to me. All right, we are going a little fast. We will bring that down to about there, like 73-ish. I forgot that it was going to drop down. You know, it's funny because this vast wasteland here is actually really, really nice for the fact of... Look at all the stars. Look how nice that looks. I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of Starry Nights, so this actually looks really nice. It's a nice drive. 
Granted, I didn't really want to do a nighttime drive, but, you know, you play with the hand that you get dealt, right? This feels good to be behind the wheel, plus traffic's a little better at night. Less for you guys to see, though. I will say that, like, not much going on. Granted, we're in a edited map anyway, so there's not a lot going on, period, but still. Nice pier built back there. All in all, I'm getting hungry, because I haven't had anything to eat today. And it's currently 10.48 in the morning. Get over here, dummy. Should have actually stayed over here. <laughs> Uh, the woes of driving. I need I need a nap and I need food. That's what we need. That's, a, that's how I want to spend my Sunday, just food and nap. Granted, I gotta go to work tonight. Not excited about that. Oh well. Alright, still doing good. Still keeping at a good speed. Yeah, just it's, it's pretty much just a straight shot. Yeah, two hours and 43 minutes left. This is actually gonna be shorter than our last video. Just because it is such flat, straight highway. It's just rocketing on through. Right to the last video, we were stopped at like every red light possible. But it's neat to go back towards Texas. Just really curious on where it's gonna bring us next. I think I'm gonna have a surprise for the next episode. So um, definitely stay tuned for that one. There's a truck that we have that we haven't been using a lot. And I, w I wanna bring it back. And I usually do cargo. So we're going to see how that goes. Sorry, you will notice that there was just a whole bunch of weird noises coming from the microphone. That's literally me, and you can see that I'm kind of bobbing around, around the road. My microphone literally just started to drop in front of me. This is me just trying to adjust it. So I apologize for the weird sounds and the lack of commentary and the kind of driving all over the road. You know, when you're driving an 18-wheeler, you don't have to worry about things like this. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. But yeah, you know... I don't usually try to give prompts for the comments or whatever, but you know what? I, I, I like answering them. So, tell me. You got any fall or winter plans? Love to be able to talk to you guys about that down in the comments. This is actually starting to become a little community. I, I talk to a lot of you. Which is really neat. Um, and, I, and I just like to hear your input on the world. Especially since a lot of you are from around the world. And I'd love to be able to hear that. So always, don't be afraid to leave a comment, reach out, message me, contact me on Instagram, whatever you want to do, fine by me. Ooh, we got a definitely car accident of some sort. I only saw one vehicle. Does not mean there was only one. Let's get on over here. About an hour and a half left. You know, it's funny. So I think we can probably get our last uh, one more journey in <laughs> before. Uh, we have to call it quits for sleep. Might be a quick one, but I bet you we can do it. But of course, that'll be another episode. I like keeping these short. That's one thing that I learned from the beginning of doing YouTube. Uh, I had episodes that were like a half an hour to an hour long. It, it's better if they're around 20 minutes. I, Because I, I realized after videos that I was watching that were like 20 minutes, I was keeping my attention more. It's something that was way longer. So I'm trying to chop it up. And if it's something that's going to take like three or four hours, like some, some of the train sim vids that uh, we do, I actually will just, I'll break up as much as I can. Probably two about hour segments. Just trying to keep it even. And we are just cruising along past everybody. It's fine by me. It makes a faster trip and get paid but you know it, it'd be cool if there was a mod that somebody made where you couldn't come to your yard had hours like the yard that you're going to to make the delivery had hours of when you need to be there and not oh this needs to be there between 11 46 and you know 2 a.m you know not that 
to actually like, hey, we open at 8 a.m. We can unload you at 8 a.m., but you, if you're there earlier, you've got to wait. And then you've got to find a place to wait, and you've got to excel time. You can just sit in your truck and excel time. That'd be actually a neat feature, I think. And if it's already in American Truck Sim, somebody please let me know. Yeah, I'll get over. All right. We're going to have some something going on up here. Let's actually slow down. A burnt car? Oh, classic. Because we don't have to slow down that much. I wasn't sure if it was going to actually take up part of the highway. But you can definitely tell that we are getting somewhere a little bit busier and that it's getting a little bit later at night. One, it's super dark. But two, you can see a lot more truck traffic. Definitely getting closer and closer to a city that does a lot of exporting. Or that's a gateway city. Got another thing broken out? Man, there's just this is not a good road. Oh, you were so close to a place where you could stop, too. Hey, this is not the like a Chevron's not the best place to stop, but it's still better than being stranded. Are we about to cross back into Texas? Is that what that sign is gonna tell me? I can't read that sign. Literally, that tank was in the way the whole time. I'm gonna assume that we just crossed back into Texas, everybody. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I mean, it could have slowed down, but hey, we, we're making good time. And I want to continue to make that good time. Yeah, we're a half an hour away. Definitely going to continue to make that good time. <laughs> It's interesting. I actually like these different series that we've been doing in American Truck Sim. The long haul, the short haul, then of course, oh, hey, it's raining. That's, that's new. Um, the NASCAR stuff. It's been a lot of fun to, to do different things. It keeps American Truck Sim fresh to me. And I love playing it, but eventually you can get into a rut and just be like, oh my God, it's the same thing over and over and over and over and over and over and over. Two sixty-eight for diesel. Two forty-seven. I'll take that. Okay, it's actually coming down pretty hard. We've got a storm coming through. Well, I we'll have to park it in the rain. I get stuck at this red light, aren't we? Come on, man. We're making such good time now, especially since I got to get out and drop the trailer in the rain. Rain. Good. This thing. I don't mind the rain. I don't mind sitting out and getting wet in the rain. I hate wet shoes. Even waterproof wet shoes. It's not a fan. Well, recruitment agency. There's something else we're going to discover up here on the way to our destination as well. Looks like destination might be on the left, but we're going to sit here in the right lane for now. Welcome to Amarillo, everybody. Wish you could see more, but it's a nighttime haul. I said I wanted to see how many we could try to get in before we need to sleep. It is just pouring now. Like this is this. I wonder if they redid their rain system because I don't remember it being this heavy before. Peterbilt discovered neat. Actually delivered to a FedEx. We went from FedEx. Uh, actually, we didn't do a FedEx before. We did a FedEx last episode. Let's get on up here. Let's go and make a good stop. Well, hopefully the yard will be easy to get into. I think it's another just copy and paste of uh, what we were just in the last episode. Let's see. Um, come on. There we go. So come on. There's nobody there. I know these are probably timed and not censored, but come on. <laughs> just your destination is right there. Let me get a small break. Maybe I'll get some food before we film the next episode. I forgot I had tandems, actually. Completely forgot I had tandems. They're going to have me go onto that back wall, which means I'm not lined up. Yeah, where do you want it? Right there. Yeah. All right. Well, let's go with the mouse, dummy. All right, let's, let's hope I swung enough. Can we get that box to go away, please? Thank you. I need that mirror. And with this other trailer, they've now trapped me in here. As I say, so as soon as I can do this, so I can at least pull forward and back out. All right. Well, here we are. I love easy. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I love easy parking. 
<laughs> All right, that was 316 miles, four hours, 29 minutes, 68.2 gallons of fuel. This is pretty close to what we uh, just just did. So we two about the same level. Wow, that's, that's pretty awesome. Turn that off. Let's set the parking brake. All right, well, that's going to do it for this one, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did like what you saw, we do live stream on Twitch and we are on Instagram. Those links are down there in the description below. Let us know down in the comments what you think. Thumbs up, thumbs down. Always love to be able to hear from you guys and have conversations as well. If you really did enjoy what you saw, though, um, a subscribe is always appreciated. It just lets us know that you support us with what we're doing, and it, uh, it means the world to me. And just know that I really do appreciate it. But with that, I thank you guys so much for coming out to this one, and we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye! <laughs>